In this video, you will find the best safety tips to prevent your LinkedIn account from getting restricted, along with easy methods to secure your account from any mishaps. Hey, I'm Amy from Expandy, the world's safest cloud platform for doing automated LinkedIn outreach without getting noticed or banned. If you wish to turn your LinkedIn into a lead generator tool, be sure to subscribe for our weekly growth hacking tips and hit the bell so you don't miss the next episode. If you've received a warning from LinkedIn, got logged out or even got your account restricted, don't worry, there are several ways to prevent this from happening and to secure your account once again. First things first is you should not panic. There are lots of reasons as to why your account could be under investigation and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be stuck in LinkedIn jail. So stay tuned because we're gonna cover everything you need to know for keeping your account safe on what to do in the worst case that your account is indeed restricted. Let's dive in. Even if your account is not restricted, it might well be on the way of getting flagged. Or if you just want to ensure your account is safe, it's always a good idea to take some safety measures and to have an idea of some of the best LinkedIn practices. Let's take a look at a few safety tips to protect your LinkedIn account. A far too common reason why people get banned is because they're using all the wrong tools. Yes, LinkedIn automation is all the rage these days, but that doesn't mean that you should just go with the very first tool that you find. Here's the thing. There are two types of LinkedIn tools available. There's Chrome-based ones and cloud-based ones. Chrome-based tools basically live in your browser, meaning you'll open up LinkedIn from your favorite browser and then you'll fire up your tool in the form of an extension. But we would advise using a cloud-based solution over a Chrome-based one. Why is this? Long story short, cloud-based tools work online and are safer than browsers. This is because of a couple of reasons. They offer a dedicated IP so that your LinkedIn login is consistent each time. It's harder for LinkedIn to detect because it's not front-end like the browser tools. And they'll usually have advanced features like working days and hours, personalized messages, higher conversion rates, etc. that will allow for more personalization. And this in turn will make your outreach efforts less spammy. Despite everything, if your account does get restricted, you can follow these next tips. Disconnect any and all LinkedIn tools. Officially, most LinkedIn tools go against the terms of service of LinkedIn. And even if your account got restricted for some other reason, you should still disconnect any LinkedIn tools that you're associated with your account. You should also clear your browser and your cache. Don't create a new LinkedIn account. It might sound contradictory, but because your account is restricted, you can't just create a new one. LinkedIn will just detect a new account from your IP and restrict that one as well. And they might even give you a permanent ban because you're going to try and play against their rules. Just because you might be able to create two LinkedIn accounts associated with one IP address doesn't mean that you should do it. From a practical view, you're most likely never going to need two profiles. And from a safety standpoint, LinkedIn will probably figure it out and think you're up to no good. It's time to contact LinkedIn. Now, it's finally time to contact LinkedIn. You can't really escape this, so you may as well just give it your best shot. Try and contact their support and see what happens and what you can do to avoid it happening again. Warm up your account. Pretend the account you recovered is completely new and use the best outreach safety practices. Stick to a few manual connection requests per day and slowly start building them up. Try to only connect with people you have mutual connections with and send personalized, custom, engaging private messages that don't sound very salesy. Delete old and pending LinkedIn connection requests and use personalization. So to recap, there are a few reasons as to why your LinkedIn account might've got restricted, but it's not the end of the world and you can still recover your account. A lot of this will have to do with how you use LinkedIn. So make sure you're using the latest and safe Make sure you're using the latest and the safest LinkedIn practices. If you were using any LinkedIn tools before, you should remove them, treat your recovered account like brand new, and take a break before you start using safe LinkedIn tools. Don't start aggressive mass outreach campaigns. Take things slow and you'll get to keep your account. And that's it. In my next video, I will be dropping many more super cool tips and tricks you can always trust to get a lot more leads and connections on LinkedIn. See you soon.